My yellow Jeep has gotten us reliably where we needed to go for well over a decade. <laughs> well, that was until it blew up last Tuesday. <laughs> More in a moment. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. My yellow jeep and I have been through a lot together. We first met way back at the turn of the century, and we've been companions ever since. Over the years, we've traveled up and down the highways and back roads in the search of history. My yellow jeep was there on Donna's and I's first date. It was our honeymoon getaway vehicle and our new family's ride. My yellow jeep has reliably gotten us where we needed to go through rain, ice, snow, and blazing sun. Well, that was up until it blew up. <laughs> For all the years we've been together, my yellow jeep suffered its first catastrophic failure just a few days ago. The radiator exploded. Oh, I'm not exaggerating either. The top of the radiator split apart, spewing its contents all over the engine compartment in tremendous fashion. Donna feels sad about this, too. <laughs> she was the one driving when it happened. She had just finished running some errands around town and was heading home. When she was about a block or so from the house, the engine temperature gauge shot up and the engine began to overheat. She slowed way down, turned on the AC, rolled down the windows, and turned on the heater. Since it was just a block, she made it home and pulled into the driveway. With the Jeep now stopped, she said she could hear fluid boiling. As soon as she shut the engine off, she heard a loud pop and steam and fluid began to spray everywhere. After about an hour to uh, let everything cool off, she surveyed the damage. The top of the radiator was missing. The engine compartment was now as yellow as the Jeep's paint job, and what was left of the radiator fluid was pulled up on the driveway. I'm not entirely sure what failed yet. <laughs> it could have just been an old radiator letting go. A thermostat not working properly, a clogged pipe, a failed pump, or a combination of a whole host of other things. There isn't much I can do for the Jeep right now, so I've been spending most of the weekend just cleaning up the driveway. Donna had used kitty litter to help mop up the spill after everything cooled off, and that helped quite a bit. Oh, just a little side note for everyone. Antifreeze is poisonous. Try to take care of any spills as soon as you can. You don't want the neighborhood cats to get into it. You know, that would probably make Donna even more sad, and you don't want that. <laughs> as of writing this, I don't know what damage is done beyond the destroyed radiator. If it's just a radiator, there's hope. If there's damage to the engine block or any of the other components, well, that's probably it. Whether or not this is the end of my yellow jeep is yet to be determined but it has definitely been an adventure. And boy, what a mess it was. I think I spent three hours scrubbing the driveway. And unfortunately, it's still a little bit yellow. <laughs> oh well, on to other things. This episode's writing suggestion, why don't you spin a tale about your first car or your favorite car? I look forward to reading all about it. With President Obama's recent visit to our state, I thought it'd be a great time to share some more historic presidential visits to Oklahoma. Head on over to Exploring Oklahoma History's Google Plus page for some more historic video. Oh, and I'll have a link to it in the show notes. Would you believe school is going to start back up here in less than a month in Oklahoma? Wow, this summer is just flying by, isn't it? Here's just a little reminder. <laughs> Why don't you go pick up those school supplies now and not wait till the last minute? You'll avoid the rush. <laughs> Many stores and school websites already have your school supply lists available. In this episode's show notes bonus links, I have something old, something new, and something adventurous. So please check it out in the show notes for this episode at blogoklahoma.net.
I'm happy to announce as of July 19th, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 884 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.